everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest. And we are here with Cricket, who's been hanging out near one of the beaver trails and trying to find a beaver. But uh, I'm a little bit worried because she's been having a hard time of it. And uh, as if to emphasize my point, I think I may know why. You can see it started snowing. Now, snow can fall at any time of the year in Yellowstone. It can even snow in the middle of summer. Yellowstone is really high up in the mountains. It's kind of a weird place, <laughs> but uh, weather-wise. But uh, it's, uh, it's snowing more and more frequently because the end of the year is getting closer. It is getting into winter. And if we actually look at our game help here, this is a thing we can look at if we want to see some of the tutorial tips that have already gone away. If we scroll down to the beaver hunting one, beavers are active from April through November. And I don't know exactly what it is, what, what time of year it is in game, but it's definitely getting closer to winter. And I'm pretty sure in the deep winter season, at least, the beavers are not going to be active. But even though it's not the deep winter season yet, I'm starting to wonder if we've already hit the point when there are no more beavers. So I don't see any on the trail right now, but we didn't find any the day before. We'd at least been seeing them. I'm still going to have Cricket lie and wait, but she might have to look for another source of food soon. We'll let her, we'll let her crouch down here and keep an eye out and see if there's going to be any beavers that show up. But like, I'm not seeing any of them. And I'm a little bit concerned that that means that it might be too late in the year. So I'll see you guys in a little bit, but I'm definitely a little worried about what we may find. I've been here for a little bit and we're still not seeing any beavers, so I think Cricket's gonna run along the stream here and try- or run along the river and try and find some of the other trails. Because if the beavers are no longer here, if they've gone into their lodges for the winter, I think- do they spend their lodges in the winter? I assume so. I assume they probably curl up in a hibernate or something. I don't actually know what beavers do in the winter. Uh, the game has just said that they're not hound about, so if they've already gone off to do whatever it is beavers do in winter, well, Cricket's gonna have to find a new food source. You can see her hunger's already halfway down. And she hasn't had the most success with finding other, or with hunting other animals. Uh, she's had a more difficult time hunting down the larger prey. And that's just, that, that's just an eagle. That's not, not food or anything. But yeah, I'm not seeing any beavers over here either. I don't think there's any at this trail. I think it might, they might already have gone into their lodges for the winter or wherever they end up going. I think we might have to try and find another food source. I think we'll, we'll come over here to this trail over this way and sleep one last time through the night because, yeah, it is getting to be pretty late, it looks like. Um, the sun, I think, is going down. It's hard to see with all the snow, and this is back into Junction Butte territory, so we do have to be a little bit cautious. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know, you guys. I'm starting to get a little bit worried that there may not be beavers left to, to hunt. And if that is the case, Cricket's going to have to figure out what she's going to do about that. Let's just check this trail over here, over here real fast. But, like, we were seeing so many beavers on the trails, even when we weren't able to catch them. We haven't seen any, and I don't think we saw any in the last episode either. Yeah, there's no beavers here, even though it is about that time of day. Let's go sit on this, this hill. We'll take another little sleep and see, but... If not, I think Cricket is starting to get the sense that something might be wrong. Oh, there's a stranger wolf here. Who are you? Who is this? We are in Junction Butte territory. I don't know. Junction Butte 4F. Isn't this the one we ran off? There were a couple of... Whoa! There were a couple of... Uh, a couple of... of um... Uh, of pack wolves that could have been interested in dispersing with her here the last time, with Cricket that is, but I don't see any this time. I think she may have come alone. Oh, and she's leaving again. Uh, she did not... Yeah, she, she came pretty soon after we fell asleep, I think. Let's just check the trail real fast and see if there's any beavers, but it doesn't look like it. If there's not any by morning, then I think Cricket's gonna have to figure out what else she can do. Oh, we've got another. It's you again. Oh, I think it's the same wolf. Well, it is almost dawn. So, oh, 4F. Yep, indeed. She is being quite stubborn. Fortunately, fortunately, Cricket's been doing pretty good about running her off, I think. But, yeah. I think we'll check the, these places one more time, but... 
She's more than halfway down on food, and there don't seem to be any beavers. I think the sky is getting a little lighter over there, is it? Maybe we should sleep a little bit longer? Oh, it's cloudy. Yeah, maybe we'll sleep a little bit longer and just see. We'll try and wait for actual dawn, just in case it's too early for the beavers to be out. But I don't know, you guys. I'm getting a little bit worried. Oh, now it's actually dawn and very snowy. Oh my goodness, look at the snow. Yeah, you guys, it may not be deep winter just yet, but I get the feeling that it's already too cold for the beavers. We'll check through the trails one more time, but it, I don't know, you guys. I think Cricket, I think, needs food. Uh, and I don't know, it's hard to see in all the snow if there's even a carcass or anything. But we're going to run along and check these trails just to see real fast if there's a bear going somewhere. But I think if Cricket can't find a beaver, then she might have to spend some time looking for help. <laughs> uh, there have been a few other wolves she, she's met who've been friendlier, not like the one who keeps attacking her. But I don't see any of them around, and I don't think... Even if the Prospect Peak Wolves did, like, they, they, they are dispersals, they are looking for a mate. Even if they were to show up again, I'm not sure she would trust them enough, though, because she was attacked by Prospect Peak as a pup, and I think that stuck with her. So, we'll check this. I don't think... Oh, there's mule deer. We could try hunting mule deer. It, it was elk she's had a hard time with, and, and to be fair, that was in no small part because of the, uh, the Junction Butte pack. But I don't see any beavers at all. So, honestly, I get the sense she might head into stranger territory and see how far she can go, see if she can find the, uh, the wolves who... Like, maybe, maybe in particular, I think, probably, honestly, out of everyone, I think she'd go looking for 2M, the first wolf that she met. She also met 3 and 4M from the Junction Butte pack. But they kind of startled her, and they showed up with their sister, who was definitely a lot more hostile, is the one who, who Cricket has had to be fending off there. Oh, and this is Lamar Canyon pack territory now. Isn't it? Yeah, Lamar Canyon. Uh, that's actually the pack that uh, Cricket's mother, Raven, is from. But yeah, there's no beavers, you guys. I think it's too late in the year, and if that's the case... Don't, I don't see Cricket sticking around here. They, she hasn't been attacked by this pack yet, but I don't know that she really knows them well enough. I mean, she is their descendant, but common blood is no, uh, no, no guarantee she wouldn't be attacked. And considering that, uh, if I recall, it didn't seem like Raven's pack was too happy about her leaving. Well, who's this? Hello? Who's here? Oh no, it's the Prospect Peak Wolves. Uh, definitely not, definitely not, definitely not. Uh, she's gonna run, I think, right back into Junction Butte territory and see... Are those other wolves down here? Who are these? There, there are other wolves here, but I don't know who they are. Is this the Beartooth Dispersals? I think, it, oh, yep, this is the Beartooth Dispersals. Oh no, they're back. We didn't see them for several episodes, but uh, I don't think, especially right now, Cricket wants anything to do with them. There are... There's Stranger Wolves from the Junction Butte pack. Honestly? I think Cricket's gonna head this way and hope that the wolves that she finds are the ones she's actually looking for, because I think she's gonna not feeling confident enough in hunting on her own. She's had such a hard time with so many hunts that I think she would want to seek some help. Oh, here we are. Here's the scent trail, so it looks like the pack went this way, I think? Oh no, their scent is already getting covered up. Wait, what? Oh no, I think it's already fading. The trail she found was very, very weak. And somewhere around here, where did it go? Oh, who is this? Oh no, this is not who we were hoping to see. Oh no, oh we're gonna get bitten if we're not careful here. Who is this? Ah, uh, this is one of the- is this one of the wolves who chased her earlier? 1F, oh no, that's the dominant female. This is not who we wanted to see, not at all. Uh, but I think Cricket would fight. She has to, she has to find help or, or else she's not gonna make it through the winter. Uh, I don't think she's quite, uh, quite sure enough of herself 
to feel like she can make it on her own, and if she can't find a pack, if she can't find a wolf to take as her mate, she's gonna be in real deep trouble. Uh, Stranger Wolves this way, though. Maybe there's more further on. Maybe she can still find 2M, or even his brothers. With who's this? Is this the trail? Nope, that's Coyotes. Alright, uh, honestly, I think she'd keep searching. Oh, Pack Wolves. Hold on, hold on, who's this? Who's this? Oh my gosh, it's him! He's here! I, I'm not sure that Cricket has ever been more relieved to see someone out here. He actually came. I cannot believe this. I cannot believe this. He must have noticed the commotion and realized that uh, that, that things were, were not quite right. And I, I think Cricket is very, very relieved to see him. Uh, and I, I think she would definitely, definitely seek his aid here. And, uh, and definitely be hoping that he'll be able to help because... Without uh, without her beavers, she's going to have a much harder time successfully making any hunts. Oh, here he comes. He came back. Uh, these guys already knew each other a little bit, so I think they're, they're not as, um, as suspicious of each other now. He's, and he seemed good-natured enough when, um, when he came up to her the first time. He didn't even try to steal her beaver or anything. Um, and I think she did realize that she was just a little suspicious there's more wolves in the background there's more wolves oh we need to get out of here we need to get out of here that's probably his pack we need to move we need to move oh i think she's definitely oh don't howl you're gonna draw them over oh no uh i think she would uh she would be rapidly trying to get his attention because oh no they're coming this way he's called them right over we need to leave we need to leave please please we need to go we need to go she's gonna get mobbed Oh my goodness, I, I I don't think he's quite registered the danger that the rest of his pack could pose to her, but Cricket is all too aware of it. Uh, they're just lurking around over there. Um, I don't think they've noticed us yet, but... Oh, okay. You know what? I don't think Cricket would hesitate. I think, uh, I, I think she would definitely say yes. And then, oh, there's so many wolves. There's another wolf coming. There's another wolf coming. We need to go. We need to go. We need to go. Let's, uh, let's leave. There, there's other wolves here. I, I think we need to get out of this territory. I, I know this is your pack, but I'm not so sure that they will be keen on Cricket, uh, Cricket hanging around. But I think she's feeling a little bit better with, uh, with 2M here to help. She knew she was in for a very, very difficult winter if she had to try and survive alone, but fortunately he found her just in the nick of time. Let's not try and hunt on your Pax territory. I'm not sure that's the best impression we want to make, and uh, considering that this is a pack that we will have to be dealing with in Slow Creek as well, if these guys head over there, which I assume they will, uh, well, if they if they decide that they do want to uh, to form a pack together and become mates, uh, they will be dealing with the Junction Butte pack in Slow Creek, depending on where they settle. So um, I don't think Cricket wants to uh, wants to tick them off any more than she has to. She's already weary enough of one of the one of the Slow Creek packs. <laughs> And I don't think she wants to make any more bitter enemies, uh, considering that she already did have to uh, have to chase off the the dominant female of the Junction Butte Pack, which is probably this guy's mother. <laughs> oh, that's that's not the the best of first impressions, huh? Uh, not having to um, having to fend off your potential mate's mom. That, that's maybe not the best of situations, but. Uh, he, he seems alright with it. He seemed happy enough to see her again. And I think there is a moose calf here. I don't think Cricket would be uh, would be trying to hunt yet. She's focused on, oh, there's more wolves here. There's more wolves here. We gotta go. We gotta go. I don't know if this is the, uh, the Junction Butte pack that's right here, but considering that we were near their territory, uh, it certainly could be. Uh, but we are out of it now, so let's try and see if there's actually something around here we can hunt. It looks like there could be an elk herd, and uh, I think Cricket's feeling a little bit bolder when it comes to hunting, knowing that now she's not going to have to do it on her own. Uh-oh. Well, it seems like we're about to uh, find out just how how keen the uh, Lamar Canyon pack may or may not be on their descendants, uh, considering that we just ran into their territory searching for the big sagebrush herd. Uh, but I, I think, you know, I think we gotta, we gotta try. How, how claimed is this territory? 
very <laughs> oh no we might be headed right into another stranger will fight uh, I certainly hope not though oh no but I do smell strangers in the distance we may have to turn around and abandon this hunt too but with the two of them working together maybe we'll be able to, uh, to do this a little bit more quickly and actually bring down uh, an elk calf because we need food and and quickly. Cricket can't take too much more time waiting. She's already past half hunger. And if we don't find something to eat soon, this may not end well for her. You know, considering that uh considering that there the there's probably a wolf pack on the way and Cricket is in some dire straits and we don't have a lot of time, I think we might have to settle for some mule deer. Uh, Cricket is not the keenest on them, I think, considering that, uh, looking at her stats, she has minus one speed. They're not going to be easy prey for her to hunt, but possibly working together it'll be a little bit, uh, a little bit more possible. We'll have to see, uh, but I just hope it'll be enough, and if we can get out of this territory, that could be it for the best. Um, oh, it looks like he has caught scent of the mule deer, though he is going for it. Hopefully he's got higher speed than she does, and we'll be able to... Uh, to get a good bite. If he can if he can slow it down, then probably she can run in and be able to help as well. Oh, he can, he can, he did, he got a bite, he got a bite. Oh, 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 he, he definitely slowed it down, but it's still running. It may not have been enough, or maybe it will, maybe it will. We've still got a chance. There's another mule deer here too. I just hope we don't run straight into stranger wolves on the way. Oh no, poor Cricket's stamina is not holding up though. She is pretty close. She's got a chance of getting a little bit of a bite but I don't think she's gonna get much of one. She's gonna have to fall back and uh, run a little slower. He's gonna have to do most of the um, most of the most of the biting. I think if he can if he can get a good bite though, then she stands a decent chance of being able to catch up. He just has to be able to get that bite in the first place, and he was able to run it down. So hopefully, hopefully that will uh, that'll enable them to work together all right. And they'll be able to do this. Oh, she's falling behind for sure, though. He's he's looking back. I think he's he's uh, he's worried. I think by by how how slow she's going, she's gonna have a very hard time. And we're about to run out of stamina too if uh, if our um, our energy gets too low. Oh, maybe we'll have a chance to go in though. Oh, and he's he's coming in alongside her here. If the two of them can get a good bite together, yes, yes, exactly like this, exactly like this. Oh, he paused to chase away some of those coyotes. Oh my goodness. Well, she's doing some good damage at least. Oh, it, it has stopped a little bit. It actually slowed down. Well, considering that, uh, considering that, oh, here we go, here we go. Uh, Cricket's out of stamina. We probably want to be kind of careful. He's still, he's still chasing, he's still chasing. Now, this is probably going to have to be a bit of a dine and dash because we're going to get run off our carcass if we're not careful. But it looks like, oh, is he able to come in? He's, he's thinking about it, he's thinking about it. Uh, he definitely is considering it. He, he might be, well, I don't know if he's low on stamina or not. Is that, that's another deer, I think. Not, uh, not a wolf. All right, are you gonna be able to help? He's probably, okay, he's all right, he's all right. Let's um, go ahead and we will eat. He took some damage too, but they did get food and that is what is very important. So hunting definitely is difficult for Cricket on her own and I think she is very, very glad that she no longer has to be alone. Uh, hopefully, you know, it was a bit of an intense start to things, and we probably should vacate this territory because I see something in the distance. It might just be coyotes. I think it is just coyotes, actually, but we should probably get out of this territory. But I think Cricket is feeling very relieved, and I think she's hopeful, too. She and 2M did get on pretty well. They got along pr pretty reasonably when they first met. I think she did have a, a pretty good impression of him. He was pretty friendly, and and generally seemed pretty sweet. Uh, now, we did find a four-star uh, four star diversity pack wolf at one point, but I don't think... You know, I just don't feel... Oh, Cricket has a, a meat chunk. I never... I didn't realize she actually grabbed one. Um, but, you know, I just don't feel like Cricket got along with him quite as well. Uh, with him and his brother, they kind of surprised her more. But with 2M, he, he won her trust a little bit. He certainly did take her by surprise, but... I think at the end of it, she, you know, she felt she felt confident seeking him out for help when she was scared she wouldn't be able to handle hunting on her own in the winter time, and 
said that things might go poorly for her if she had to try without her fallback of being able to hunt beavers. So I, I feel like these two had a little bit of a rough start, but I, I could see things working out for them. We just have to see if they can continue to work together as well as they did. Uh, but he certainly seemed to catch on to the fact that she was having a hard time catching up to the mule deer, and I think that she very much appreciated uh, that he he was able to see what she needed and uh, and help her out. He seems like he may have a little bit more experience. Um, you all right? He kind of stopped running. <laughs> uh, I think Mighty is a little nervous nervous about those bison, but um, yeah, I think uh, he seems a little bit more experienced, or at least uh, his, his his stats maybe maybe he has a little little bit better better stats for being able to hunt. Uh, so I think he's got things more figured out. And it might be too late in the year to introduce him to beaver hunting, but hopefully with, uh, with his experience and, uh, and her experience in regards to beaver hunting that they'll need in the springtime, things will, things will work out alright. But uh, we'll have to see more of that in the next episode, see how their courtship continues if they do decide this is really what they want to do, and how they weather the winter, because I have a feeling deep winter is coming. But for now, we're going to go ahead and end off this episode here for today, because I think it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.